welcome back to my training session learn with me today we will we will be seeing the exception case in the integration flow we are continuing on the same topic cloud platform integration so, so we will see a topic called exception exception is nothing but in a programming language is a try catch right you are going to execute the integration flow in during the integration flow if any error occurs how we are going to capture that in the integration flow that we are going to see it now okay okay i will directly go to the i flow now in the i flow i am already in a package so i am going to create a new package so i will go to edit i will add uh, the new integration flow I will give the name demo x two. I will give demo x two. I will add it. Okay. I will open up the integration flow now. Okay, so from sender, I will I will edit it. From sender, I connect it to the integration flow, and this is connected by HTTPS. So in the HTTPS connection, I will give a name called slash demo e three. Okay, demo e three, and I don't want CRPF. I will save it. Now, what I will do is, uh, I will just create one. Just to explain the integration process, I will create one uh, simple content monitor. Or, or, or let me start with in a normal case. I will go to request reply. Request reply. Okay. Uh, so in the request reply i will connect to the receiver okay i need one more receiver for that i will get a receiver The receiver is connected by the HTTP. Okay, in that HTTP connection, I will give my uh, regular exercise thing. I will use this this URL, which will give me some which will give me some in JSON for JSON output. Okay, I will say limit equal to just three record, and this is a get method, and it is internet only, and it does not have any authorization, so I will make it none. That's it. Okay. I am saving it. Okay. Now what we'll do is uh, here I will add one more uh, 
content monitor the content monitor I will what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one property I will say NR this is coming from my number range and the number range is I'm going to use my number range here I'm going to use this number range 1 which is having a minimum of 1 maximum of 10 and field length is 4 and it is not rotate ok so mm. instead of 10 I will say I will make it less I will say only 5 ok so this number range I am going to use it number range 1 ok here I am going to give the same number range 1 number range 1 save ok in the message body what I am going to do is it is a success path right everything goes fine everything goes fine this should work me like this it has to display me the whatever the uh, JSON file I received it I have to display it and that I, it has to give me the first number range property right number range is property written whatever I defined in the property that will be displayed right in the property I displayed as NR which is coming from the number range object 1 and will be displayed so 1 and the body ok now I will deploy it so we are seeing uh, the uh, just simple iFlow uh, which is having a success path which are supposed to be working correctly deployment let me see the deployment status so it takes some time let us wait for it yeah now it is started so what is my url it is e3 right demo e3 i will go to postman and i will execute demo e3 now so i am going to the postman i am ca calling that uh, i flow demo e3 so it goes to success path right number range is 1 ok the current is 200 so so far so good so now uh, how I am going to simulate the error simulate the error in the, in the number range I have only if you go to number range this number range is having a minimum and maximum is 5 only and current value is 1 next values if you, if you refresh it ref next value is 2 because we already run once right In the output you saw that 1 the next value is 2 when I execute again a 2 will come so after the maximum value 5 the error has to come ok in the integration success path 
if the in the content monitor i am trying to fetch the property from the number range which will be failed so in that case how we can handle it so for that for that we have to handle the exception okay now i will show you how to create a exception okay now go in the i flow you are in edit mode let me expand the thing i think this receiver i don't want i will remove this now go here exception sub process you have to choose the exception sub process select it and put it inside your iflow okay so exception sub process is coming inside your iflow let me reduce one thing okay now inside your iflow so here so generally what happens is when we are calling the from postman this started it requests to play it with the api and in the content modifier it tries to get the number range and end it now what happens is here the error going to happen so when the error is happened this exception process will automatically started how will we realize that we will what i'll do is i will create another content monitor here the content monitor 2 the message body i am going to display i am going to write this message exception path and dollar exception message so the error message will be displayed this should be an expression okay now save it okay now you are clearing right clear right so let me rearrange it yeah now it is perfectly rearranged now you can see that thing perfectly now so sender is going to send a from postman or any other any other place it is going to call the integ integration flow endpoint the request to play will be started it fetch the data then it going to content modifier in the content modifier i am going to get the number range and display it now once you once the number range object is not able to give the number it any error then this exception process will be triggered not only number range even if this connection is failed or any other problem inside this this exception process will be automatically started so in the how we know that exception is started so i created a content modifier in the body i created the exception path and the message okay now i will save it again i will deploy it let me know the status after it is started again we will continue with the postman with the same same airflow okay now it is started uh, just to inform um, i am going to call this number range it is only a maximum value of 5 okay i will go to postman it's the same if flow so i am resending it so the last number is 1 now it is going to 2 send to us come 
it is still in the success path only so next next set of values come then again i am sending three right is 200 now then again i am sending four again i am sending Okay, so far, so good. It, it went into the uh, success path only. Now, uh, exception should trigger because in the number range, we the last value is 5 only. After that, it tries to fetch the another number, but in the number range object, we set only the maximum value is 5 and it is not rotatable also. So, it has to give me error. Okay, now I am sending again. see now it gone into exception path it give me the error error while fetching the next value of the number range number range one okay so if you go back to where i flow if you see that so from postman we started it it fetched the record however the error happened in this place content monitor in the content monitor i was trying to fetch the property this number range from the number range one it was trying to get the next number but next number was not available hence it throws an error so immediately this exception sub process will be automatically started so in the exception sub process in the content modifier what i gave is in the output in the content modifier message body i gave this expression called exception path and display me the what was the exception message this is the standard message dollar uh, standard variable dollar exception dot message okay okay uh, this is a simple way of handling the exception uh, the handling exception itself hack we can have multiple exercises which i will create a separate videos with the real cases now this video is simply explain how we capture the exception like a try catch okay hope this session is useful to you now uh, okay thank you for watching and please update your comments thank you